So we just saw Ayumi Mini take out Linda Zetcheri in the women's singles. And next up on court one, we've got the men's singles. It's AJ Jayaram of India, the number four seed, taking on Kanza Suniyama, the young gun from Japan, aged just 20. We saw their run since the quarterfinals here in this tournament on screen a second ago. We've been pleased to see AJ Jairam back on his best form. He's He hasn't dropped a game so far this week coming through. Well, he had a bye, really a walkover in round one, but um, he's come through fairly comfortably from round two around 16 and the quarterfinals here so far. As players make their way to the court. Not so for his opponent, Kanta Suniyama, who has been pushed very hard. The round 16 match he had went to three, as did his quarterfinal yesterday. against Pablo Abian. Pablo Abian was the number eight seed here and we'll be very disappointed not to have made it through to today's semi-finals. It's AJ who wins the toss. I think he elects the end nearest us to begin this match. AJ Jairam then, 28 years old. He's the uh, number four seed here and ranked number 22 in the world currently. His last competition was the uh, Canada Open earlier this month. He lost in the semi-finals there to Lee Hyun Il, who is in our other semi-final here on court two today. You can see his matches there. He beat his teammate from India, Anand Power, yesterday 21-10, 21-13, so he really is in fine form here. Kantasuniyama, currently ranked number 61, which is his career best so far. Of course, he's only aged well, 19, I think his birthday is somewhere around now. He'll soon be 20. And it's the first time these two players have met in top competition. Ready to play. You can see those tough matches he had yesterday against the number 18, Pablo Abian, 21-15 in the third. He's done well this week, really, with uh, Mark Schwiebler pulling out at the start of the tournament it really opened up the draw for him so with a potential match against Weebler and also against ABN of Spain I don't think he would have expected to have been in this position here on the semi-final Saturday he made the final back in the uh, Spanish international in June where he pushed Anton Andersen of uh, Denmark very fiercely indeed to a third and deciding game. And he's a very capable young man. I think it was the Finnish Open earlier this year that he won, beating Tian Mien Nguyen of Vietnam in the final, which is no easy feat at all. So it could be in for a really exciting match here. These Two very fast, explosive players. And on my left, Kanta Sunayama, Japan. 
AJ Giordano to serve, love ball play. Service over. Oh, that forehand lift just drifting wide from AJ. Quite defensive in his approach in that opening point. Nothing wrong at all with the cross court smash, though. Almost unstoppable, I would say. Again, the same shot played just inside the line. It was perfect. And the same shot in reply from Suniyama, that round the head cross court slice. Half smash or whatever, just inside the line. If these two guys can maintain this kind of attacking, we'll be in for a really thrilling semi-final indeed. Three, two. That block just drifting an inch or so wide. Deception at the net from AJ. You might be able to hear the shuttles being hit. There's no match currently on court two whilst we wait, but there's a practice court to our left, and I don't believe it, but uh, Ayumi Mini, who's just can come off court, is playing 2v1 Four. training oh. with her Japanese teammates and working very hard indeed. Unbelievable, really, the uh, approach to training that some of these top-level players have. Great disguise again on the net from AJ, the forehand this time. player but just didn't quite give the base enough to get it over the net oh called in that was plum on the line Six. Oh. very tough to call at this stage between these two Athleticism from both men. Oh. 
And well, the error, but very few errors so far. And certainly not too wayward with their errors. Anything they've missed has been only an inch or so wide or short of the net tape. Good attacking pressure from Suniyama. And great disguise, the, the racket preparation is what gives AJ so much of his Attacking weapons when it comes to the net. His racket's just perfectly positioned so early that you can't tell until the very last moment what shot he's going to play. And if you give a guy like that enough time, he'll just send you all over the court. Dive on the defence. It's a well played cross court drop. Oh, but you can see from the technique the way he fell out of that around the head clip smash. He just wasn't quite in balance to hit that down the line. Suniyama then with the first lead of three points so far in this uh, men's single semi-final and that's 11-7 the mid-game interval and it's Japan with the early break So Kanta Suniyama with a five-point lead here in this opening game. Oh, and the error from AJ. Signs of the pressure just creeping into his game now. Well, this first game just starting to run away with Kanta Suniyama of Japan, and that is a wonderful defence. The block drive on the backhand 15, under seven. pressure. AJ played it directly into the body of Suniyama, but he was just able enough to get himself out of the way and get the racket face onto that drive. Oh, I don't believe it. 
AJ's net shot was played to perfection. It tumbled off the tape and in desperation, Suniyama with the cross net off the floor and it just crawled along the tape and fell in. Incredible skill. And within just a few minutes, we've gone from 9-7 to 17-7. Make that 18-7. 18-7. It looks as though AJ of India has resigned himself to the fact that this opening game is running away from him. And Just doesn't seem to be anything he can do to stop it. Service over. Eight, great net play. And a great lift from AJ. Oh. Suniyama really going for his shots now, and why not 18. with a 10 point lead? He can afford to, but that cross slice just drifting wide of the sideline by an inch or two. If I was AJ Jairam, I'd just be using the end of this game to find my way back in, make your opponent work for it, make him earn the first game, which he's certainly doing, that net tumble. Once again, the slice on that net shot, just spinning the shuttle so that the feathers are all over the place. And your opponent has to wait until the shuttle straightens up to be able to play it. Great Service technique. Over. 8. Jump out on the backhand side from Kanta Suniyama. This opening game very one sided indeed. Nothing Jayaram can do to stop the relentless attack. Oh, and again, played to perfection. That was. Just inside the sideline, and that brings about the end of the first game. Kansas Suniyama in full control at 21 10. So are we witnessing a star in the making here, this 19-year-old from Japan, making his way through this tournament very comfortably indeed. Doesn't mind a long match, doesn't mind a struggle. He is able enough to beat the Sri Lankan in round 16 here after losing the first 21-19, he came back to win 21-7, 21-12. Just shows us how much composure he must have, but also to beat somebody like Pablo Abian here yesterday in the quarterfinals. The eighth seed, that match must have lasted around an hour. After losing the first again, 23-21, that's so hard to take at times, but he bounced back well Force to win 21-16, 21-15, 21, 21, and so one, no need for any of that here today. However, the semi-final very much in his favour so far, 21-10, a very impressive first opening game.
Oh, that's incredible defense from Suniyama picking up that straight wow. smash. Regaining the attack and then playing perfectly controlled attacking shots. Well, it must break the heart of AJJ around at the moment. Playing quite well. She just doesn't seem to be able to keep up with the pressure from this young Japanese player. Momentum swings one way to the other all the way through that rally. Some great net play from AJ. But countered so well by the Japanese that it really is hard to see which way any of these points is going to go until the shuttle's on the floor. For short, AJ pounced Three, with the straight five. smash, and even then, Kanta Sinyama almost managed to return it. goes to show the strength in depth of a nation like Japan at the moment. I've barely heard of Kanta Suniyama before this week. And yet with the draw he's had to make it through to this semi-final and be playing the way he is. It's certainly a name that many people are going to be repeating over the next few years. We've got another great young Japanese talent coming up next, in fact, in the women's singles. It's Sena Kawakami from Japan. Again, somewhere around 19 years old. And having a very impressive week here in Los Angeles at the US Open. A training rally really AJ leaving that lift till it almost hit the floor before playing it back over the net and then a bit of trick stuff at the net looking a little lazy I'd say from AJ and the easy kill at the end it's AJ just changing his racket for some reason Nothing wrong with the strings, perhaps the grip. Let's see if it brings him more luck in this second game. Incredible battles at the net between these two all the way through this match so far. Tsunayama from Japan, who just seems to be taking it that little bit earlier than AJ of India and forcing his opponent out of position. But AJ staying with him so far, the score not just 5-4 in this second game. It's unbelievable how time and time again Kanta Suniyama can soak up that kind of pressure from AJ. That straight smash. 
he couldn't have played it much better, but the control on the defence and then getting the lift back, allowing Suniyama to apply some pressure. It's so impressive, and it means AJ Jayaram is having to force the issue slightly. He's looking for things at times that are just not there, that round the head, cross-court smash. He wasn't in balance. He wasn't quite in attacking position, and as such, it forced the error. Bit of deception again, though, at the net from AJ, but again, Suniyama soaking up the pressure. Finding a way back into the rally from a defensive position. Ah, but not this time. Service over. I wonder if AJ Jayaram has spotted that area of weakness, perhaps, that smashed down the backhand of his opponent. Had no reply from Suniyama, and so let's see if AJ Jayaram decides to direct more of his smashes to his opponent's backhand from this point. Well, an uncharacteristic oh. error at the net from Kanta Suniyama allows AJ back into this game, 7 all. Seven. And again, AJ just trying to force Eight. the issue a little too much. When they miss these two guys, they don't miss by much. Very high quality of badminton. Oh, there we go again. The dive on the cross court smash. AJ on the floor, the net shot hit the tape. It's really good to see. Playing with such confidence, these guys. You usually see two nets and then the high lift. But instead, it's, I guess, some bravado, perhaps. The confidence they've got to play the hold and then try to take the net on once again. Time not coming off for uh, Suniyama, but... Somehow, it seems, AJJ Rams holding himself into this match at 9 all. Oh, that's a shame, the lift. The flat punch on the lift just drifting wide. Oh, that was better from Suniyama of Japan. He had the opportunity earlier in that rally. He decided not to take it, but maintains the pressure and comes in for the kill. He's got a very slight advantage in this second game, but one game to the good. It's 11-10 here in the first of our men's single semi-finals here at the US Open.
So players just waiting in readiness for 11, 10, the second 10. half of this second game to begin. JJ around just signing to the umpire, questioning whether that serve was high from Kanta Suniyama. The umpire having none of it, however, and the game continues. Oh, that's a great smash. Service over. 12, 11. Kanta Suniyama, very much the younger of the two men out here. And that might be contributing to how quickly and how early he's been able to get on the attack. And well, all parts of this match, really. 12 points the whole way through this second game so far. I don't think I can remember it. either player having a two-point lead to this stage. Oh, that straight smash again, though. The technique and the speed. Suniyama is able to get around the head and put the shuttle on the floor. Really very impressive indeed. to himself more than anything I would say just a sign that he is sensing the pressure out there on court number one. Oh a great net exchange oh that's brilliant from AJJ around Brilliant stuff. The lift just drifting one from AJ. What a shame. Both men playing with such confidence at times. Both at the peak of their game, really. AJ at 28 years old. I think he's ranked somewhere around 20 in the world. And I think it's the highest he's been at this stage in his career. Of course, Suniyama, the younger man, only 19. He might lack that match experience but I don't think it'll be very long before he's inside the world's top 30 as well oh called in Great attacking play and Suniyama finally with a two-point lead 16, 14. it's not much but it might just be enough the way this game has been going so far
That's well played, Sinyama, but it was unfortunate the error from AJ. 17-14. A very crucial stage in this semi-final, 17-14, and the first three-point lead we've seen in this second game. One's drifted long as well. It wasn't much, but it was definitely out. And again, the umpire having a word with the players, warning them not to try to influence the line judges in any way. We saw that a lot in the women's singles earlier. You can really feel how much pressure these guys are putting into this game from uh, this commentary position up in the bleachers behind court one. You can actually feel the players' footsteps as they load their legs to spring off and land. And suddenly it's 19-14 to a 19-year-old from Japan. And it's looking like the end for AJ Jairam at the stage. Oh, such confidence to play the net. So tight. 20, match point, 40. And it's match point. Kanta Suniyama of Japan, just 19 years old. It's a great rally, one of the best rallies we've seen this match. Oh, it's called wide, AJ Jayaram, where the straight clip smash, it drifts an inch or so wide. Arms in the air from Kanta Suniyama. You can see how pleased he is to have come through this semi-final. It's Kanta Suniyama of Japan who takes the match 21, 13, 21, 14. <laughs> and a quick wave to the cameras. So pleased to be making his way through to tomorrow's final here at the Yonex US Open. Well played, Kanta Suniyama. See the early stages of the match. AJ Jayaram playing with as much confidence as his opponent, but it was very early on that he realized Kanta Suniyama was able to take the shuttle so early. Oh, there's that net cord, that cross court net cord. Plenty more to come, I'm sure, from this young Japanese Kanta Suniyama. So Kanta Suniyama of Japan progresses through to tomorrow's final. We've got women's singles again up next. It's the second seed, the favorite here, Michelle Lee of Canada, the winner of the Canada Open last week. She's up against another impressive young talent from Japan, Saina Kawakawi, here on court one. And uh, don't go away, guys, it's the men's doubles. 
later on with the Danish superstars Bowen Morgensen showing us that they've still got it after a difficult six months for that pair. So Sena Kawakami came through her quarter-final against a very prestigious young talent from France yesterday, Delphine Lansac. I watched that game and at one stage it looked like Lansac was going to take it, but Kaya Kawi came back very impressively indeed. No such drama for Michelle Lee. She's come through every